Hi, this is Dr. Steven Hernandez with cdocs.com. And today I wanted to share with you a tip on how to make a PA from your cone beam volume. Something happens, you've forgotten to capture a PA before a procedure, the patient just can't tolerate the x-ray, what do we do? So in this instance, for example, I'm going to take a PA of number, or make a PA out of number 27. So I'm going to double click here. I'm now going to be in this lower left screen here, and when I zoom in using my scroll wheel, I can see tooth number 27, but I can't get the entire tooth in line to make a PA out of it. It just doesn't look like a PA. So what do I do? I'm going to be looking right here. I'm going to grab this little orange dotted line here, and when I left click and hold, if you look here, you'll see the angulation of this line change. Oops, going the wrong way. Go back, get it with the long axis of the tooth. And now when I let go, you can see we've got what appears to be a nice PA here of tooth number 27. So now I want to get rid of these crosshairs. Over here on the right of the screen, I have a tools button. And here's where I'm going to deactivate those lines. So now I have what appears to be a very nice looking PA. And you can scroll through the volume and get it exactly the way you'd like. I've been working in this lower right, excuse me, lower left box here. So it's got this gold hue around it. So if I go over here to Output, 2D Export, single click that, push play, and I can now export this into my software, attach it to an insurance claim, or whatever I would like. And now I've got a PA from a tooth using my comb beam volume.